Hey guys, Charles here, and today is a Sunday video, so I'm just going to be doing a little tutorial on how, to, how how I go about making all my thumbnails really quickly. So first of all, I'd like to introduce you to a program called Adobe Spark. Adobe Spark is totally free, all you have to do is go to spark.adobe.com, and you can log in and sign up with a Google account, which is what I've done. There is currently a little bug going on with the Adobe Spark login, which means you may have to click it twice to be able to actually log in to it. So just click on your Google account twice when logging in, and you'll be good to go. So as you notice, a lot of these here, you'll notice them from not only from my blog on this one here, but also from actual YouTube thumbnails from the last uh, kind of six and seven videos that I did. So when you're starting a project, all you have to do is go to the click plus button. You go down to post, and then on this bit down here, I actually have to move this up a bit. On this bit here, you go to more sizes and then select YouTube thumbnail. And then this text is what is going to be inside the actual thumbnail itself. So I'm going to be put. I'm going to put. I'm going to make the thumbnail for this video, which is how to make a YouTube thumbnail in 60 seconds. And then you press continue, and this will go through to the actual creation process, which you'll see here. So the first thing is I'm going to change the background. So I'm going to click the background and then press replace. You can either upload your own photo if you want to use one. You can use the uh, Google Photos, Dropbox, Lightroom, or Creative Cloud, whatever you want to do. Or you can find royalty-free, stock-free photos uh, straight from the search bar here. So I'm just going to put in YouTube, and it will come back with a ton of different options for me to use. I'll just go with something like this, or even go with something like this. And then I'll actually go to the background again, close this. And then you can use different filters. So if I go like this one, it's a bit darker. If I go this one, it's a bit brighter. Uh, if I go this one, it's a bit of a tinge. I'll probably go for the darker one, and then I'll change this text color here to a white, or in fact, we could even use a more brighter color, such as a yellow. We'll go for a white, though, because white's the, uh, the best kind of default one here we can go with. And then we can actually change the font we want on this one as well to different kinds of fonts here. There's all sorts of different ones we can go straight through. I think they have 50 different fonts available on this one. Uh, we'll go with Montserrat, and then we'll make this a bit bigger so that it's a bit more standy out on YouTube. And then we'll just quickly center that straight into there. And then that's it. There we have our YouTube background and thumbnail is created in less than 60 seconds. All you have to do now is once it's saved in the top left corner, you go to share. This will then save your post and you'll be able to share and download this image with no kind of watermark at all straight away and just click download and there's no watermark on the YouTube thumbnails at all and you can see here the thumbnail is looking pretty good. I hope you enjoyed this quick and short video on how I go about making these thumbnails. If you'd like to see more like this, drop a comment below and don't forget to subscribe. I've been Charles. Peace. Love, love.